Hi, welcome to Hands-On Continuous Integration and Automation with Jenkins. This is your host, Sandro Cirulli, and I'm going to guide you throughout this video course. But first, let me introduce myself. I am a certified Jenkins engineer, and I currently work at Oxford University Press, where I'm responsible for DevOps, system administration, and cloud. I am also the co-organizer of DevOps Oxford Meetup, a bi-monthly meetup on DevOps topics in Oxford, UK, and co-maintainer of XPEC, an open source testing framework for XML technologies. Finally, you can contact me via my technical blog at sandrocirulli.net. Enough of me, let's now move to the course overview. This video course is divided into six sections, each dedicated to a specific topic. We'll start in section one with a brief introduction to Jenkins and we will install it together on your favorite operating system. In section two, you will get familiar with key concepts of Jenkins, such as jobs, builds, build triggers, and so on. You will set up and run your first Jenkins job. Section three introduces the concepts of continuous integration, CI, and continuous delivery, CD and the practical part is to build your first CI pipeline. In section 4, we will discuss the concept of pipeline as code introduced in Jenkins 2, and we will build together a continuous delivery pipeline. Section 5 is dedicated to Blue Ocean, the new user interface which comes with Jenkins 2. We will explore it together and build a pipeline using Blue Ocean. Finally, in section 6, we'll see how Jenkins integrates with cloud platforms such as AWS and we will build and deploy applications to the cloud. In order to follow this video course, you don't need to already know Jenkins as we will start from scratch and move steadily to the most interesting features of Jenkins 2. I assume you have some basic programming skills as we will write code together and you have a basic knowledge of source control we will use Git. But the most important prerequisite is the willingness to learn new things and not to be afraid of making mistakes. Jenkins could be a hungry tool in terms of memory and disk space, but for this video course, you don't need much power. A modern computer with at least one gigabyte of RAM and 10 gigabytes of disk space is sufficient to follow this course. Jenkins 2 requires Java 8, either a Java Runtime Environment, JRE, or a Java Development Kit, JDK, is fine, which you need to have installed, but no worries if you don't, I'll give you links for that. I'll cover the installation on the major operating systems, and after the installation, Jenkins should work pretty much the same everywhere. The goals for this course are to get you up to speed with Jenkins, if you have never used it before and learn the latest features introduced with Jenkins 2. This is a hands-on course, so expect to build CI CD pipelines and deploy applications to the cloud. At the end of each section, there are exercises to practice and extend what you have learned, and solution and code samples are available on GitHub. The final goal of this course is to learn how you can use Jenkins to automate as much as possible. So, do you want to learn Jenkins and get advantage of its latest features by building code pipelines? Let's dive into the course 